Alright guys, today we uh, are doing a little bit of testing with the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig edition. We're uh, taking a look, we're inside Kodi, we got that installed, some basics, um, nothing real fancy. Um, I um, just kept it all stripped down to its normal um, out of the box look. I know there's a ton of builds out there and you know we can possibly um, get into them someday um, quick note I do notice like from time to time um, a little like tearing and stuff like that but for the most part it's very snappy as uh, people would expect um, this current build here is 18.3 um, now as you can see very minimal resources being used running at about 133 degrees Fahrenheit um, and that's there's your specs for everything as I said this is the 4 gig edition so um, you could expect that a lot of um, things are gonna work Pretty snappily. Uh, if we go into YouTube, you can see stuff moves right along at a pretty quick pace. Um, it's um, the old regular test here. I don't have a 4K display to really show you um, a proper depiction of, you know, 4K or um, any type of. Um, resemblance to it but I can tell you that 4k on a lot of things is just not there yet um, there's a, um, a a bunch of reasons but I do expect that um, everything in those areas will be worked out um, but it 4k is just not a hundred percent everywhere um, you know I, I, I'm sure that people are getting you know uh, 4k somewhere uh, great, but um, as far as across the board, it's but you know, we get some big buck bunny. I don't have a capture card or anything um, hooked up. This is just running straight from a camera. But as you can see, things are running nice and smooth. It's a beautiful picture. Um, it's great. It's Big Buck Bunny. But this is a very good test for... It's been um, kind of the the test but I can tell you when you uh, put on 4k it it will run um, some cores a little high and but overall it um, doesn't run high it's uh, it's just not not a hundred percent now I haven't done anything to the GPU none of the uh, this is just out of the box what the average person that you know would just plug this in and turn it on and install um, you know Cody so we're gonna you know go with that type of thought process here now as we go back out we can as you can see it's functioning great while in play no uh no problems there. And there's your system info. Everything is running fairly well. I mean, 
it's not by no it's not even hardly working basically it's just and big buck bunny so stop that and go back into some add-ons and just to show you some um, oops. just to show you some responseful notes here I'm going to some 80 stuff Now again, your your internet obviously makes a difference on how fast some things are going to load, but the, you know, if your internet's there or whatever, Cody will be able to keep up. We're getting gigabit speeds through the ethernet. I highly advise... The near future, Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner, Andrew, fight to rid the KXC. See, RoboCop. Which I highly advise if you're going to run it as a media player that you're hooked up to Ethernet, um, if at all possible, directly and not um, doing it wirelessly. Now, now, now that we're pushing out um, 5G, obviously wireless is pretty, pretty intense nowadays, but at the same time, um, when functioning as a media player and stuff like that, it isn't like you got to move it around or anything. So, if at all possible, try to hook up to the Ethernet. But it will uh, it will run at a pretty swift pace, even without uh, direct hookups. As you can see, we can uh, back out of here. Everything functions fairly. Go down and check out some Bob Ross. Boom. Loads up directly. Um, there is... The, the times you will notice wait times is just in the add-on itself or... Uh, but if you're like say you've got Crackle or Netflix or any of that, uh, Pluto TV, everything is right, right on point. Um, it, like I said, it runs at a, you know, let's try some Crackle. Second to populate. So the first one here. And it's there. I know there's, again, there's plenty of, uh, I know there's plenty of builds and, um, different, uh, ways to set all this up, but I'm going with, uh, the generic, um, set up here just to, for demonstration purposes. Going to some Zumo. Zumo something everybody should, uh, know about. A lot of cool channels, a lot of cool links up where everything's just all in one spot, kind of. So, switch through it a little bit, see how fast.
Collective. Boom. Kittens! Yay! <laughs> kittens are always cool. Can't go wrong with kittens. Now, again, we back out of here. You can also, uh, this is, uh, we won't go over the controls and all that, but, um, yeah. I just want to try to do it as the lengthiest way as possible to show that it keeps right up. Um, uh, I was watching this. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Now there's tons of cool add-ons we can go over. Um, and other, um, we can do like, you know, tutorials or whatever if people are interested in such things. Um, my look and how I would do it. Let's do some Pluto on demand here. Let's do some featured. Um, do, 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 do. Some horror. Boom. And while that's starting. And of course, the beginning of anything when it's loading up is going to be the most taxing, obviously, because it's doing all of them. So. So as you can see, um, things are running fairly well. Um, I was really in impressed. I mean, Cody's always been very good on the Raspberry Pi, but I was kind of wondering. Um, there's still some work to do. Um, obviously, there's still, you know, always can be improved. Um, run lighter, run, you know. But for the most part, right out of the box, you will have a, um, a, a fairly good cohesive experience. And, uh, you know, I mean, uh, with very uh, little finagling um, or having to up your, um, you know, change the, the ratios of anything, um, be it with your memory or uh, stuff like that. No overclocking needed with any of this. Um, it's just straight runs. You know, I've been trying a lot of these. I just kind of go through, pick them, see if they load, and, um, you know, a lot of them, they, they all work great and like they're supposed to. Um, you know, I, I don't wander too much off into the, the weeds with um, a lot of the add-ons or whatever because it can get very overwhelming um, with all the different stuff you can hook up uh, but again um, and we will here we'll back up one more time look at the info boom as you can see everything running fairly low we got 11 percent um, all cores are running at a pretty uh, low percentage so yeah I got plenty more cool tests um, I have installed some cool things that I found that uh, I want to see will uh, run on the uh, Raspberry Pi you can see our temperature hasn't changed um, at all so yeah is it very cool there'll be more tests this was just a quick overview to show you 
everything runs uh, pretty snappily. It's very easy to install Kodi, especially with noobs. Um, there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to do that, but um, it dual boots great. We're going to get into some of that as well. But uh, yeah, Kodi running on the, uh, the new Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs can't go wrong. So I hope uh, everybody uh, found this uh, informative, helpful, or whatever. Um, you can uh, always like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And have a great day.